Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you how you can upgrade to Windows 10 uh, for free after the uh, promotional offer ends on July 29, 2016. As you probably know, uh, Microsoft is making Windows 10 uh, available for free as a free upgrade to Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users uh, for the first year. And now that offer is going to end on July 29, 2016. So after that point, you actually have to pay $119 for the home edition of the operating system or $199 for the uh, professional version of Windows 10. Uh, so the best way to upgrade to Windows 10 is and free is doing it now before the uh, July 29th. But if you're not quite ready, uh, there is a way that you can actually um, upgrade after after the uh, offer ends and is still upgrading for free. And that involves a preparation uh, before that day comes. And But after that, you can upgrade at any time. So basically what you have to do is to upgrade to Windows 10 now and before, uh, before the offer ends, and then simply roll back uh, to the uh, previous version of the operating system that you have. And will that do, it will upgrade your product key so you're entitled to install Windows 10 on any other, um, in, in your machine at any time. Um, so today what I wanna do is just walk you through the steps to do this so you can do it at any time. And so basically what we're gonna be doing today is uh, making a backup of your operating system and, and then just uh, doing the upgrade and then rolling back. Uh, the backup we're gonna do is just uh, a precaution if something goes wrong and you need to roll back, uh, you can do that. But actually Windows 10 has an, an option to roll back. So it's, uh, the, the backup is an option up to you if you wanna do it. I would recommend you to do it before uh, you go through the steps. I'm gonna be using Windows 7 today for uh, showing you this, but the same will work and the same extent will work for uh, Windows 8.1. So um, let's start with the backup. So the first thing you have to do is just make a full back backup of your computer. And the first thing you have to do is just open control panel and then just find the uh, backup and restore and click the uh, create assistant image. And what you have to do is uh, select the uh, uh, the drive where you want to uh, do the uh, full backup of your computer. So make sure that you're using um, an external drive that actually has the, enough space to um, make the uh, the backup. So you select the uh, the drive and then click next, and then click start uh, backup, and that will backup. Uh, uh, your entire computer. So if something goes wrong, you can you can use this to uh, go back to the uh, previous state of your computer. All right. So I'm not gonna do this because I'm uh, I'm just using um, a virtual machine to do this. So I don't have any uh, valuable uh, data on this computer. So I'm just gonna get out of here. And actually. One more thing that you have to do is just make sure that you have the latest update for the version of Windows that you're using. So uh, on Windows on Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, just come to Control Panel and go to Windows Update, and just make sure that you do the update. Just click the Check for Updates and download any updates that are available. Once you're done all the updates, uh, what you need to do, you probably are going to see on the um, on the system tray, the, um, uh, the get the Windows 10 app, you can click that and start the, the upgrade that way. Uh, if you don't see that, uh, you will actually have to uh, go to the Microsoft website and get the, uh, the installation files uh, to do the upgrade. Also, make sure that if you install any, any software to block the uh, Windows 10 upgrade, Make sure to disable that. If not, you won't be able to uh, get the upgrade going. So then make sure that you do that. And also, uh, there's been you know other hacks so that you can modify the um, uh, the registry. So make sure that if you've done any of the changes that way, make sure you roll them back with instructions that um, uh, uh, you followed before. Uh, because 
If not, you won't be able to like get the upgrade going and that will be a problem. Right now I'm going to show you, I don't have the uh, Get Windows 10 app, but anyone can just go to the uh, to this Microsoft website and I'm going to leave the link on the uh, uh, below in the comments. And what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using the uh, media creation tool and I'm gonna click, uh, I'm gonna click download tool now. I'm gonna save it and that will save it to my download folder. As you can see right here, just gonna double click that. Gonna click yes. And I don't think I'm going to need the website anymore. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna close the Internet Explorer. And the uh, Windows 10 setup is gonna start. I'm gonna set accept the uh, license terms. So now I'm going to, instead of creating an installation media, I'm just gonna go straight with the upgrade. So I'm going to select the uh, upgrade this PC now, and I'm gonna click next. And what's gonna happen right now is uh, the um, media creation tool is going to download the uh, Windows 10 files. So this might take a little while, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when, when I have all the files ready to install. All right, guys. Um, it took me a little while, but I got uh, I got to this page. All the everything got downloaded. Uh, I did have an issue that uh, after the download, the uh, setup process was trying to verify uh, the download, and after that, continue like checking for updates on Windows 7, and it was taking too long. And apparently, I'm not the only one, but it seems that it's only with Windows 7. I don't know if it is uh, with Windows 8.1 is the same thing. But uh, one thing that I found is that uh, what you can do is uh, you can open the run command and go to services.msc. Just in case if you don't know, you can use the uh, Windows R uh, keyboard shortcut to open the, uh, the run command and then just type services.msc and click OK and that will open the services on Windows and then just scroll down and find the um, uh, Windows update. Right click and click stop and right now it's stopped and that and that would allow me to actually um, that, that allowed the uh, Windows 10 setup to stop checking for updates and let me go through the uh, through the upgrade. So it's one thing to like keep in mind if you run into that issue. All right, so uh, now that um, I'm in the license terms, I'm gonna accept that. All right, so uh, I'm using a virtual machine, so I'm having this uh, little issue here that it's not compatible, but I'm going to go ahead and, and go through the install anyways. So I'm gonna click confirm and now it's going to make sure that I have enough space to make the uh, the upgrade and make sure that at least you have between 8 to 16 gigs uh, gigabytes of uh, storage to uh, do the upgrade uh, if not you won't be able to do the uh, the upgrade all right so now it, everything's ready to install and you can you can choose what is it you want to keep and I'm just for uh, for this um, for this video. I'm just going to keep the defaults and skip personal files and apps. And I'm going to click next. And again, it's going to try to like check for updates. But remember that um, disabled the uh, Windows update, so that's when it's going quickly. It's trying to check and it's not able to do that check. And all right, so I'm going to click confirm again. And I'm gonna click install. And now the uh, the installation process kicked in. All right. After a few moments, um, the uh, computer restarted automatically, so you can actually start the uh, the upgrade process. And this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna come back and show you the out of the box uh, experience so you can start setting up your uh, Windows 10 installation. All right, guys, after a few reboots, now I'm, I'm here on this screen and still finishing installing Windows 10. And I'm gonna click the, um, I'm gonna click next. 
uh, use express settings and enable or not Cortana so I'm gonna click use Cortana click next and now the um, the installation is gonna complete all right so now we're on Windows 10 we have been upgraded so let me see if I can change the resolution on this so you can see this better so if you have any um, any apps uh, they will still work on Windows 10 but the point is that we're not gonna configure anything else here because the point of this is that um, you're not going you're not ready for Windows 10 so what we're going to be doing right now is just go back to uh, Windows 7 let me show you really quick that if we open file explorer and then go to uh, uh, the uh, the drive where Windows is installed you will see now that um, uh, two Windows folders but one is says windows.all that is your Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 installation so if you had that it's a good chance you can go back to the previous version of uh, the operating system let's just open the um, the settings app and now we're going to uh, go to update and security and let me see uh, you need to like go to activation and make sure that this is activated this is really important if you need to change or if you have any any issues you can click the uh, uh, try it again uh, I don't have it here or you can change the uh, the product key with uh, with this button right here so once you know that it, it's activated you go back to uh, recovery you go uh, to recovery and then you will see an option this is go back to Windows 7 if you have Windows 8.1 it will say go back to uh, Windows 8.1 this is possible because we have that uh, Windows that all folder now the only thing we have to do is uh, click get to start it and it is going to ask me to uh, you know just to give a reason why and I'm just going to choose um, I'm gonna choose the uh, Windows 7 seems more reliable and I'm going to click next so I'm gonna click not thanks and then click next make sure that you know your your Windows 7 password to go back into your account I'm gonna click next click go back to Windows 7 to finish to finish uh, the rollback and the computer is going to restart and going to go through the uh, rollback. All right, so uh, Windows 7 now is uh, booting up, and we're back to the uh, previous version of the operating system. Uh, your Pro key of Windows 7 has been uh, registered by Microsoft. Uh, to entitle you to actually install Windows 10 uh, whenever whenever you want you can actually use the same Windows 7 product key or Windows 8 product key after the upgrade to do a clean installation of the operating system as well so and that's all there is to it uh, remember to like this video uh, to comment and tell me what you didn't like if anything and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing